Hello, my name is Verla Haverals and I work for the University of Antwerp, Belgium. This ILSA project video will give an overview on how to prepare your vocabulary in multiple languages. We continue to build on what you have learned in the previous modules, that is, the modules on subtitling, on simultaneous interpreting and on intralingual speaking. To prepare for an interlingual speaking assignment, you must create two different terminology lists. Just like when preparing for an interpreting assignment, you will have to draw up glossaries for interlingual speaking. For example, if you know you will have to speak an economic speech into your mother tongue or any other language, make a list of terms commonly used in that domain in the language you know best and look up their equivalents in the source language. Where can you find these equivalents or translations? There are many online resources. Dictionaries are an important source of information, of course, but also make sure you check whether the translations they offer are idiomatic and fit the context. Parallel text and European databases are an excellent tool for this type of preparatory research. When working as a conference interpreter, it is always handy to know the names of the speakers beforehand. It can be quite embarrassing if you have misunderstood their names. And what is more, all your listeners will get them wrong. So proper preparation is essential. The same applies to interlingual speaking. However, while interpreters don't have to worry so much about how the name is written, an interlingual speaker should always check the spelling twice, since it will appear in full on the screen. We're going to explore the different steps that one must take to prepare lists, learn phrases and train dragon. First, searching for words on a subject area or topic. Second, preparing an alphabetical list. Third, looking up words in the other language. Fourth, learning the words and finally training Dragon. We're going to use a running example to illustrate this in the next few slides. To help us illustrate an example of the importance of searching for vocabulary in multiple languages, imagine you have been tasked with the following respeaking assignment. Imagine you have been asked to provide interlingual live subtitles through respeaking for a scientific conference, the main theme being outer space. You have been allocated some conference presentations to respeak from English into Spanish. One of the presentations is about expedition carried out by the NASA to explore a new planet with the Hubble Space Telescope. As you have this presentation brief, you can prepare for your speaking assignment by searching for vocabulary for this specific topic. You may be able to think of vocabulary that may come up in the presentation on your own. You may also use official websites to research the topic further and search for terminology that may arise in the conference presentation. For example, for this particular topic, it would be good to explore the NASA website and search for information on the Hubble Space Telescope. You may want to start with a table like this, so that you can list terminology that you think may come up in the assignment. You can make this list simply in Word or in any tool which would work for you. This is a short example of a list. These words can be found by searching the official NASA website and by reading information on the Hubble Space Telescope. You could list the terms alphabetically in English so that if you need to look them up while we're speaking, they can be located easily. You will see that there is an explanation for the last term. It can be useful to add notes like this to your vocabulary so you can explain terms if needed during the assignment. 
Then, look the words up in the other language. In this case, the words have been translated into Spanish, as this is the target language of this specific task. Online dictionaries can be used to search for terms. Wordreference.com is a useful resource to search for individual words and to explore the forums to see words used in different contexts. Lingui.com is a useful resource to search for terms in different contexts and phrases. IATE Interactive IATE Interactive Terminology for Europe can be used to search for specialized terms, such as for technical or scientific translations. Depending on how much time you have to carry out preparations for the interlingual speaking assignment, you may have time to learn new words that were not familiar to you before. If you do not have time to do this, it might be useful to keep your bilingual word list nearby during the respeaking assignment. It is not only you as an interlingual respeaker that needs to learn new words. The speech recognition software does too. Check that the words in your word list are already in the dictionary of your speech recognition software. If we take the previous example, the first four words are likely to already exist in the dictionary. However, the last term may not exist. You may encounter issues when dictating this term because it is a proper noun and dictating it while we're speaking in a language other than English could pose recognition issues. Therefore, creating a custom comment for the term Ultima Thule may be appropriate and to avoid unnecessary recognition errors. This will be explored in the next video lecture. Once you have completed this step, you are ready for the interlingual speaking assignment.